I am so tired of the all men cheat narrative. No, sis, all the men that you date cheat, okay? Take some accountability. Some of y'all literally go after men who look like they're no good. You go after men who are constantly in the streets partying. You go after drug dealers. You go through all these men who our mothers warned us about. Yeah, and all the normal everyday men, the blue collar men, the men are, that are in the 80% that never get picked are completely invisible. And then what happens is these women that deal with these certain this certain subset of men, uh, so to speak, what they do is then they get in videos and they complain to their girlfriends in the world who or to wh whoever's going to listen to them that all men are bad. But the fact is that they don't even see the majority of men because they're all chasing this one group of men and all of these men in that group, they have options and they're exercising those options. You know that there's a percentage of men that have all the babies. There's this misconception that men have so much access to sex and so many men are having babies and this and that. There's a lot of men that don't, don't even get a chance to have a child. There's a lot of men that don't even get the opportunity to have sex, to go on a date or anything. So when you hear women complain about these men, they're all complaining about the same men. These bad boys, the Chads and, and the Tyrones that just bust them down and then leave them hanging, leave their iPhone messages on red and all of this. And then they throw all the men under the bus under that same umbrella as if all men are like that. The fact is, there's a lot of good men out there, out there but the majority of these women don't pick them because they're boring. They're too nice or whatever it is. But the ultimate goal for a lot of these women it's not like they don't know that these men are bad. Their goal is to try to change these um, alpha male or whatever you want to call them into the weak male. That's their goal. They want to be able to control these men to get these men to a point where they bow down to them. A lot of women will do this by having children. They think, oh, I have a child. He's going to always be connected to me. He's going to have to bow down to me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Or I'm going to get with this man because he's, you know, buying me all these things and all this and that. And then when the man doesn't commit to them, the man doesn't say, I'm going to give you a commitment. I'm going to give you a relationship outside of just sex. They get mad and they get in videos and they complain like all men are doing this. But it's not true. All men are not doing it. The fact is that the majority of men are just simply invisible because all these women, they think that they deserve the same guys. They think that they deserve all these men with all this money. They think that they deserve and they're in competition with these other women. A lot of women want what other women have. That's just a fact. They, In their mind, they're like, well, I deserve that. I should have that too. And let's not forget that a lot of women will slide behind other women to try to get a man, steal a man, to do whatever they can to get what that woman has. So a lot of times what you ladies need to understand, and I've said this in many videos, stop thinking that these women have your best interest at heart because they don't. Instead of listening to those women that are following you around doing that dumb stuff you do, listen to women like this that are telling you the truth. Now, she's attractive. She could easily be on the opposite uh, side of the spectrum. She could easily be out there trying to manipulate and use men for what they have or to be in this hella competition with other women. It takes a lot for a woman in general to get in a video and say the complete opposite of what the narrative is that you hear a lot of these women spout out. These are the type of women that win. The women that can actually be honest. The bottom line is that Ladies, you have to start taking accountability for your actions. You cannot be upset with men that treat you badly when you pick these men. When you choose to have uh, sexual encounters with these men, no contraceptive, no nothing. When you're just having babies with these men, then after the fact, you want to complain about it. You want to complain about the Tyrone, the Chad and the Tyrone that showed you all this money and did all this and that you want to complain about him after the fact when you knew that he was bad from the beginning but your ego is so blown up you've been gas you know gassed up so high to think you that you're all that and then when you get humbled by these men and they let you know that your value is not as much as you think it is then you want to get mad 
And then all the other guys that don't really get no play, they get the blame for it. When there's a whole bunch of nice guys out there that will treat you good, but they're not good enough for you. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.